All right, let's start this video off by the plot motherfucking thickens. We're piecing together a huge puzzle for one. We got an extended crank, which would bolt directly up to a 4L80. We got a flywheel off a six liter, flat one. The other ones are dished, this one's flat. Just apparently just bolt that on. I picked up 231C transfer case to make a transfer case out of both to save money from getting the output shaft changed out in the Jeep and using a different adapter, which would have been easier now when I think about it. That's not the way it's going to work, unfortunately. So the problem I have is not so much... Um, putting these two transfer cases together. It's the VSS sensor that's going to tell my Jeep how fast it's going versus the VSS sensor that the LS engine needs to see so it can shift out of first gear. So I got to use the speed sensor. Actually, that's a totally different one too. That's a thread end model or this one here. Oh, fuck, eh? Gets even worse. What the fuck over? I gotta figure something out. I thought it was the same design, but apparently it's not. Okay. That's not gonna work for me. Might have to get updated model or sensor. I gotta figure something out. Fuck. If I had the early 4L60, this is the removable bell housing. The early ones were a one piece. And I realized that now, I didn't know it then, but there was a four bolt configuration. Now with that setup, I could get a pulse ring or reluctor ring to fit on there. And then a sensor I could bypass it. But since this is the modern one, fuck, I don't know if I can make that work or not. Fuck me. Believe I found what I'm looking for right here. So originally I ordered this kit. This would have been a pretty good solution for me. Unfortunately, advanced adapters are back ordered, are out of stock for the next three months. So I canceled the order and I picked up something else that'll do the same job and a lot cheaper. So this is what I ended up ordering. I talked to Jeff Brown over at Novak Conversions. He's the one that's been dealing with uh, my orders. And I talked to him to see I talked to him to tell him what I was doing with the 231C transfer case and the 231J, but really I would like an adapter housing that fits in the middle and then put the sensor with a wheel in there. I could machine one myself, but I'd like something a little bit more simpler. This will take the signal from the Jeep VSS and convert it to the signal needed for the uh, LS computer and will allow the transmission to work properly then. Okay, I need to get organized here a little bit so we can start assembling everything. Um, last I left off, actually physically working in the garage, that we cut the old motor mounts off and lost the footage somehow. So I don't need the transfer case out right now. I don't need that transfer case out right now. So I'll probably just scoot them in the back where I put the transmission. Kind of. I'm gonna have to organize everything because next weekend I wanna to try to test fit the engine. Aubrey's gonna come over and help me. You have to push the Jeep back over and set up the engine hoist. So can set it up back here, lift her up, set her in place, see what's gonna happen. All right, got things a little bit organized. Haven't really got up too much in the garage today. Shooting some videos. Of course, all the DIY versions and uh, some people, just haven't quite seemed to figure it out yet. And what I mean by that is that some people are subscribed to both channels and they'll comment on the video like, have we already seen that? But I fucking always seem to have to explain myself a thousand times over. This channel is just a fucking vlog. It shows everything in its realness. The other channel shows everything without the swearing, the drinking, mocked up, fucking dumbed down because that's what people want to fucking see they don't want to see the truth the truth offends people that's why this channel 
I show the truth. Anyways, let's get going. So this is my motor mount right here. That's kind of in the vicinity where it's gonna fit. And why I had to cut that bracket off is that this bad boy is going to be attached to it somehow. But if that's four and a half inches, that is nowhere near where I have to be, so what the fuck over. The holes are designed that's gonna fit in there with that brace, but it's not the way it's gonna work here, especially, especially with the dimensions that they're playing off of. Well, it kind of makes me sad, but at the same time, doesn't surprise me either. Still gonna weld the nuts in there because I could definitely still bolt that bracket to the side. I'm just gonna have to cut the bracket and then re weld the spacer in there. Won't be too bad of a deal. Be a little bit more extra work than I want, but we can make it happen. Anytime you're doing a project, never expect it to go smooth because it's not the way it's going to work. Butterfingers! This is going to be awkward. Fucking U joint flopping around. Just going to throw some welds on there, and then we can prime and paint this tonight for tomorrow. All right, that pretty much settles this for tonight. That other bracket's cut off. We're gonna tack those in tomorrow, I guess. It's already dark outside. I was kind of hoping to uh, have that done today and then assemble this tomorrow. I still may, if I go grocery shopping tonight and that way I can get out in the garage early. I gotta pick up a six foot table tonight because when I rebuild those transfer cases, um, I'm going to have a six foot folding table I'm going to use for camping and also have that in the garage. But uh, time to shut her down. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, coming back. I just sprayed some zinc paint on the frame rails. I got taped off where the mounts are going to sit. And uh, earlier, I had a good idea. I was going to hang things from the heater here and this is supposed to have been a scribe but somehow with uh, vibration I guess from the heater the scribe part fell out and well the rest is kind of history now <sighs> such a shame because this is off the snap-on truck so that's probably like 50 bucks well it wasn't 50 bucks but it wasn't cheap either it's kind of it, everything's still kind of wet but the show must go on. You can hear the wind howl outside. Yesterday it was so nice for being January. 
It's like 13, 14 degrees. And then this morning at five o'clock in the morning or so, it just starts, you know, I don't know if it was hailing outside or what, because it was so warm, but that's what was going on. That should be good. Let's make them mock these up the weld. But it's getting ugly out there. So I'm not feeling too well today, so this video is going to be cut short. I just want to get those motor mounts tacked into place and go back inside and relax. Get ready for work tomorrow. Feeling hurting. Now oh, where? I put that little freaking ruler. Oh, my head is spinning like I'm fucking too drunk. I even woke up this morning feeling like I was hung over. So I need to find that little ruler. I just had it. I just had it. Oh, shit. There we go. Over. Here we go. Here we go. Let's size this up. Four and a half. Close your eyes. All right, gonna do the same with this one here. that close your eyes oh, it's starting to get ugly out I don't know if you can see that it's snowing besides for that you gotta trace that wire I believe it goes back to the fuel tank pull that wire out Make it easier to get the engine in and out. Underneath, trace it back to the fuel tank, the fuel pump. If I would have known I was doing an LS swap then, I had this tank down, I would have just left it down. Because we're going to have to take it all apart again anyways to do the uh, fuel tank modification. Put some tools back. Let's pull this harness out of the way. Don't forget my ruler. I'll lose that and I wonder where the fuck it is. So these wires, these two must come off the transfer case. I'm gonna have to guess where's my transfer case. Speed sensors, three wires. Yeah, gotta mark those. So earlier in the video, I was talking about the VSS, how I'm going to incorporate it uh, with that Dakota digital setup I ordered. I believe I'm going to have to tie into the white wire here. This is the signal. And then go to that Dakota readout. Um, convert the signal through the box and connect it to the wiring harness. And these plugs right here all went into the transmission probably quite a bit of these will be gutted and it says looking on the wrong side so this is my transmission control module plug i'm gonna have to check the wiring harness to try to find the uh torque converter lockup wire that attaches to the brake i'm sure it works the same now if I could yank that wire out, I could uh, just attach that to the harness. But you can see right here, it comes through here and down through here. So a lot of this is going to be gutted right out. 
I don't know if I need the intake air temperature map sensor uh, I don't think I need any of those these will all be gone with the exception of the, uh, the water temperature a lot of this harness will be gone these were O2 sensor wires either way either way to paint the firewall everything's gonna come out because if I don't paint the firewall someone's gonna say you are already there why wouldn't you have just done it make it look better so I still got some paint that's left over so we're gonna do her up all right everybody that being said I'm gonna shut down the video here no motherfucking beer time I kind of got the spins going I didn't get anywhere near accomplished uh, that I wanted to this weekend I want to get those motor mounts tacked in which didn't really take too much time at all and then I want to get the motor and transmission all butted up but unfortunately that didn't happen so I apologize beg my parts sometimes that feeling ill kind of gets in the way I don't really feel like choking down a beer right now because it's probably going to come up later so I beg my part there's lots of things we got to do I think before I put the engine in I think I might just gut all that wiring out to make it simple um, and then start over fresh we're going to see what's going to happen I don't know this is uh, going to be a big project hopefully it's going to be worth it in the end and I want to thank you guys the viewers for watching I promise you in the next video we're going to have a motherfucking beer time I'll see you guys later